sure. So uh, my current day job is I work as a appraiser, a real estate appraiser. Um, also, I have done websites on the side or as a profession for most of my working life. So um, since pretty much since college, I've been building websites. It's not for myself for some reason, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> gotcha. Very cool. And I highlighted a few of the details, but can you give us your like stats on the revenue and sort of the portion coming from Amazon versus display ads and a little bit about the traffic as well? Right now, this month's been the best month ever. Last month was the best month ever before that. Last month was made about $3,100. That's profit. Um, about twenty two, twenty three hundred of that was from Amazon. The rest being from a combination of affiliate products and AdSense. AdSense was a very small portion of that. I think it was only about 100 bucks last month. Um, the rest being from affiliate ads. Okay, gotcha. Well, congratulations. And how old's the site? How much content is on there? That sort of thing. Sure, so I, I launched the first, well, the I launched the site back in 2016. Just to give you a bit of a testimonial. So when I found your channel, um, it helped me kind of your, your channel is one of the things that's really helped me focus uh, between you and um, Income School. And anyway, there's, there's, there's just two or three of you guys that I follow on YouTube that really helped me focus. So last year, I was I just looked under the hood. I, there was only 50 posts on my site. Now there's about 150. So I put, put 100 new posts on the site, put a lot more focus in Amazon Associates. So last year, at this time, I was making about $1,000 a month. Uh, most of that was actually from lead generation. Um, the lead generation has gone down to almost mm -hmm. zero. Uh, the site is totally flip flop now where the majority of my income is from Amazon. So, Okay, gotcha. And as far as the content, were you, are you writing it yourself? Or are you outsourcing it? Yeah, so now the, the majority of it is, is outsourcing. I write very little. I, I pretty much am in the role of editor. I do a lot of editing, but um, in terms of writing the content, um, actually, and again, another testimony for you is I use your, use, use your Upwork template to great effect. So. Uh, we can talk about that more if you want, but it's a really effective strategy in terms of finding writers, building relationships with those writers, and kind of um, you know nurturing those relationships. Um, I, I think I have a much lower cost per word for really strong, really good writers than most most um, people in the space. So, cool. Thanks. I I know that it takes a, a little more overhead. Obviously, you're doing the HR, the management, all that sort of stuff, but it is a fraction of the cost compared to when you outsource it so expensive to outsource it to an agency. So yeah, we could definitely get into those details. Now, it sounds like you sort of like hit a stride in the last year, but let's rewind a little bit. You said you've, you've built websites for a long time. So when did you start getting into like either affiliate marketing or at least trying to build a site as a side hustle so you can capitalize on the earnings? Well, going way back to my first job out of college in 2005, I guess, I worked for the radio stations and I started to study affiliate marketing and I found a site called um, Wealthy Affiliate. I'm sure you're, you've heard of that, familiar with that. Mm -hmm. um, so I started learning about affiliate marketing, doing affiliate marketing. And uh, I, I started uh, with my relationships, the radio station would run radio ads to affiliate products. <laughs> And that was kind of my foray into it. Um, made the radio stations a lot of money, and then uh, for some reason didn't pursue it myself. Um, went off to Japan, taught English in Japan, but started building websites in high school. So you know, I'm more than geez, 40 now. So, jeez, wow. <laughs> I don't want to think about. That. Yeah, I was gonna say I, I don't even think I didn't build. I'm basically the same age. I'm 41. I don't think I built my first site until like the first year in college or so. So what what uh, school did you go to? Went to University of Hawaii. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are you from Hawaii? I am. Yeah. I grew up. I grew up on the neighbor, the smaller island. So I grew up on the big island in Maui. Okay. Uh, in Wisconsin, of all places. But gotcha. Very cool. All right. So, like, uh, moving on. So you you knew that you could make money online so 2016 was that the first time you were like hey i'm gonna give it a shot on my own here uh yeah in terms of uh in terms of my own site that i was gonna make a concerted effort to build out and, and make money from yep cool and it sort of didn't do much for about three years so what what were you trying what really was working it sounded like you were making about a thousand dollars a month month which is actually pretty good for a lot of people and i'm sure you know it, it's enough for some folks to pay for like a mortgage or whatever. So what were you doing back then? 
Yeah, so I, I consider myself very lucky that I was at that point because, um, and we kind of talked about this in the pre-interview and just in terms of you know, being super ADD, <laughs> I'm sure a lot of your viewers can relate, is I tend to chase shiny objects or I have my whole my, 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 my life where I'm like, ooh, let me go get a job. Like I've had, you know, five different jobs in the last six or seven years. So anyway, so I think that speaks to that a lot. But um, sorry, did that answer your question? <laughs> Yeah, so you, you were jump you were jumping around a lot, so that's why you didn't really, I guess, get as much traction as you are now because you were kind of all over the place and you were doing lead generation and maybe some affiliate offers, but it wasn't very focused. The thousand dollars a month was off a very small amount of traffic too. So it was I was only getting about three thousand page views. Um, it was it was from lead generation. I got really lucky with a very niche. Um, keyword that I, I generated leads for a for an affiliate product that paid it paid out really well so that was the majority of that gotcha um, and, and it fizzled out you said so did did the traffic go away or did the affiliate program close close down when covid hit unfortunately okay yeah, yeah gotcha. I'd be, uh, probably making another thousand fifteen hundred a month just from that income stream if they hadn't closed that affiliate program down so okay understand kind of <laughs> that is a bummer. So where, where's the traffic out at now currently? So last month, I believe it was about 25,000 page views. Okay. Uh, this month, I'm probably going to hit 40,000. And last right. month was the best month ever. <laughs> so, wow. yeah. 